Okay, so a quick introduction into Formula Fun. Uh, basically, last year I was looking for like a racing game to play with the family. Uh, couldn't find one that was straightforward to play or uh, was versatile or was realistic, basically. So I thought I'd design my home. So this is Formula Fun. Uh, you can play it in either Grand Prix mode, uh, which takes about 20 minutes, or you can play the Endurance uh, mode which takes about an hour to hour 20 minutes um, you can also play uh, in solo mode uh, or up to four players so it's a very versatile game okay let's go through a typical turn in formula fun so every turn goes through the same four actions so it's gears deck track adjustment okay uh in my racing hand i've got three and we'll go through the first action so it's gears so i'm gonna put my gears up one to first gear which means i can play maximum of one card from my racing hand uh i'm going to play this four to give us a good start and then for my deck i translate that movement onto the track one two three four and i get one adjustment in the fact that because i maxed out my gear limit then I get a fault card into my discard pile. Okay, second go, we go through the same actions. Uh, so now uh, I can combine these two cards. So with my gears, I can go up to second gear, which means I can play two cards. So I'm gonna play, combine these two turbos on the straight to make six. So for my deck, translate that onto the track. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then I gain another adjustment. So I gain a full card uh, because I'm maxed out in, on, on my second gear. Okay, and that's basically uh, how each turn works. Okay, the main aspects uh, of Formula Fun that we enjoy is it gives you um, a short, funny, um, realistic racing game. Um, in the fact that, A, you've got a gearbox, you have to work work your way up for the gears uh, which dictates the speeds how many cards you can play and also um, dictates how many faults you get so if you push your car really hard then um, you're going to get short term that's going to do you good but the long term you can pick up more faults cars and it's how you manage the balance between speed and um, the damage to your engine um, also if you um you constantly analysing the track uh, to try and combine your turbo and your tyre cards at the right time. So as you go around the track, you're trying to keep the certain cards in your hand for certain bits of track. Um, so that gives it a bit of strategy. Um, also, um, any slowing down or reduction in movement caused by uh, other vehicles or engine faults uh, means you reduction in gears, which means you've got to um, go back up the gears again um, and all in all it just makes the rules easy to learn and because the racing car acts like any racing car would during a race then it makes it more um, intuitive also a great aspect of this game is its uh, versatility so you can play grand prix mode which is quickly two laps 20 minutes or you can play more endurance which is uh, your purists sort of hour hour 20 minutes with pit stops uh, as well and also the fact that you can play solo or you can play multiplayer um, also the number of tracks that you can generate use, using those um, track tiles uh, it's got to be 50 50 plus um, so you can um, design your own or you can go with the seven uh, championship tracks that we've already uh, designed. Uh, so in conclusion, we've we've had great fun and many hours uh, play testing um, this game. Uh, we we think it we, we think we got uh, we got it right and uh, it's it's ready to go. Um, yeah, we have we had lots of fun playing uh, championships um, over, over Christmas uh, with the family. And they 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 really enjoyed it. So um, if you like what you see, um, I've got lots more sort of rules, videos and, and content uh, that if you need, yeah, just, just please ask and I'll, I'll forward it to you. Thank you very much for um, watching this video.